Now we're gonna do some nice crunchy bunchy fish and baby corn fritters. First of all, let's start with the batter. So we're gonna get about one cup of flour. And about half a cup of corn flour. Now next is the seasoning. Some salt, some pepper, and some ajwain. So a nice big pinch of red chili powder and a nice big pinch of cumin powder, jeera. And a nice big pinch of yeast in this batter. Club soda adds to the crispiness of the batter. Cool. Now, resting time for the batter. Best kept outside at room temperature. Now this baby corn has been actually blanched in salted boiling water for about a minute and a half. Now let's prep the fish up. Yeah. So a little bit of salt, pepper, a bit of lemon juice, that's it. Some lemon juice. And now, just like a tablespoon of flour over it. The reason why we add flour into anything we bread or anything we dip into a batter is because once your food item has been floured, it helps to cling on to the batter. Next is for the fish. Same room for the fish, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, some lemon juice, and a slight touch of soya sauce, just a little bit. And I think now we are ready to fry. Nice and crunchy. Now it's time to do the fish. So fish first into this batter. All right, give this a nice little mix in the batter and the same drill again. Shake off the excess and into the oil. Here you go. The fish has been frying for about three to four minutes. Now it's ready to be removed. It's nice, golden brown and crunchy. Now while these are draining out here, the next is we need a nice, sexy, very, very quick dip. Mayonnaise with some sweet chili sauce. A little bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper. And a nice big handful of coriander. Now, all I need to do is whisk it very, very quickly and enjoy it with the fish fingers. First the dip. Yes. Some baby corn, some fish, some fish, some baby corn, 
some baby corn and some fish. A perfect way to end a fabulous film. <laughs>